ChatGPT, Notion AI, Jasper, Bing, Perplexity, Claude, ChatSonic. It feels like it, in just a couple of months, we've gone from not really knowing of the existence of AI to having more virtual AI assistants than Netflix TV shows available to watch. However, don't worry, I'm here to give you a quick breakdown of five ChatGPT alternatives that I personally tried. Let's dive in. Hi everyone, welcome to Thrive Themes. I am Tony Lewis, and if you like marketing, business building, and web design and development on WordPress, be sure to hit that subscribe button for me, as that is pretty much the only thing that we'd like to talk about here at Thrive Themes. Top five ChatGPT alternatives. Let's dive into it. By the way, I am saving the best for last, so be sure to watch the whole video. The first one that I want to talk about is ChatSonic. So ChatSonic is one that I hadn't heard of before prepping for this video. And there are things that I like, and there are, you know, there, there are some other things that definitely need some work. First things first, though, I really like the fact that ChatSonic is connected to the internet. You can tell it to take into account information about the world today. This is definitely better than what ChatGPT can do since ChatGPT is trained only with data up until 2021. So even though, you know, ChatGPT is definitely pretty smart, it's not going to be able to tell you who won the latest Super Bowl because, well, it, it just doesn't know. But ChatSonic does, and the answers are pretty darn good. I mean, I asked it to write a Facebook ad for Thrive Themes, and this is what it came up with. Looking for a website that not only looks great, but also converts visitors into leads and customers? Look no further than Thrive Themes. Our easy to use WordPress themes and plugins are designed to help you build a website that drives results. With features like lead generation, A-B testing, and conversion-focused page templates, Thrive Themes has everything that you need to create a high-converting website. Start building your dream website today and experience the power of Thrive Themes. I mean, that's that's pretty good. That is a, an ad that we could potentially use over here at Thrive Themes. Now, ChatSonic goes even further. It also offers the ability to even do AI images for you. But I was a little bit disappointed when I asked it to come up with an image of Spider-Man and Superman hugging under the Eiffel Tower because it came up with this. I mean, it got Spider-Man right. And, you know, even though there's definitely something wrong with his arm, it did also get the Eiffel Tower right, but is, is the man supposed to be Clark Kent or something? Look, if you want an AI solution that does both images and text, then, you know, ChatSonic could be a good option for you. But the Photosonic side of it definitely needs a little bit of work. Now, moving on, let's talk about Bing. Bing, as many of you guys probably know, is Microsoft's official search engine. It's been trying to compete against Google for well over a decade now, probably even longer. I feel like not even people at Microsoft have been using it at all. But anyway, here's the thing. They've integrated an AI assistant right inside the search engine, which means that you can now look things up on the internet just as you would normally do with Google or simply talk to Bing, the search engine itself, like the AI that it comes with and have it do the hard work of looking for things up online for you. Honestly, I don't really have any issues with the design of Bing itself. It looks pretty much just like Google, but the you know, the experience of having a conversation with the AI is, it's all right. I mean, it's not clunky, like, it's its all right. It's also not as user-friendly as talking to ChatGPT, for example, on a big window. Now, I do like that every answer that the AI comes up with has references on its answers, which means that if you want to learn more about a specific topic that the AI is including in its answer, it's super easy to navigate over to the page where the AI got the information from. Now, the third AI tool that I want to talk to you guys about is Perplexity. And this, this is a cool one. You know, in a similar way to Bing, all of the answers that it pulls from the internet come with references. But what's even cooler about Perplexity is that you can tell it to only gather information from, say, Wikipedia, or, you know, for example, like only gather information from academic sources, or it even does YouTube and Reddit. Yeah, the quality of the answers seemed to be pretty solid. It gave me a pretty straightforward explanation of what the main differences are between HTML and CSS. And, you know, when I prompted on whether I needed to know CSS and HTML to build a website with Thrive Architect, it gave me somewhat of a reasonable answer. I would have maybe liked it to put more emphasis on the fact that most people don't need to have any knowledge about CSS or HTML. But still, the answer that it gave me was, you know, it was still pretty accurate. Fourth AI tool, Probably the most famous one, Jasper. Okay, so I haven't really spent too much time talking about how much each of these tools cost. But let me tell you something about Jasper. It gets pricey. You know, it could be the fact that we have access to so many of these different free versions of ChatGPT and other tools that, you know, it, it, I, I've become a little bit reluctant to paying for these types of tools. But anyways, yes, 
Jasper is absolutely awesome. And yes, it's probably my favorite AI tool for digital marketing purposes. You know, what Jasper does really well is that it streamlines everything for you. Where with ChatGPT, you need to be putting your AI assistant into context as to what your goal is and what you're trying to do. Jasper proactively holds your hand by making it super easy for you to inform the AI, you know, what type of content piece you're writing, what the tone of that content piece should be you know, who your intended audience is. I like to think of Jasper as being the ultimate chat GPT for content marketers and copywriters. Plus the output is pretty darn solid. I mean, I asked it to write a blog post about, um, you know, the best page builders for WordPress and to make sure to set private architects on the number one spot. And it did a really good job of doing so. All right, and now last but not least, my personal favorite one, Notion AI. All right, so I am definitely biased. I'm definitely biased, in fact, if it weren't for the fact that I work with Notion to keep track of all of my tasks and calendar items, I would have probably put Jasper as my number one tool, even though it's a little bit pricey. But the truth is Notion is a productivity tool where you can create to-do lists, write documents, invite other people to work on them. And now it also brings AI into the game. I mean, how awesome is that? It feels like a like an all-in-one productivity Swiss army knife. All right, so there you have a box, five AI tools that I've tried and tested myself and that may grab your attention as well. So if you were looking for an AI assistant tool, hopefully this video helped you find one. I've had a blast doing the research for you guys. So yeah, I'll be down in the comment section below if you have any questions about any of them. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. And I'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Wait, before you leave, do you want to see me build out a website using ChatGPT and Thrive Architect? If so, click on the video popping up on screen right now. And yeah, it wouldn't hurt to hit that subscribe button either.